Welcome back to 75 Gallon Mixed Reef Aquarium. Slightly longer video this round. Close up shot of the base of the leather crawl. This is the Singulera. Uh, there's definitely a little bit of chemical warfare as they adjust to lower, what I think lower phosphates. Um, or it could just be periodically the leather crawls do this. Um, I thought the base was actually holding two rocks together and so I rarely do see the base um, but there seems to be a little bit of jockeying for position in between the toadstool and the single error. Uh, the single error is still closed up. Uh, this is not the same, um, I guess it's cabbage leather coral. Um, it's the other one so probably some of these leathers are releasing toxins in the water, I'm thinking, um, or it's just a sudden shift in less phosphates in the water. Who knows? I am not a biologist, so close-up shot and a broad shot of the tank, the yellow tank. And do my best to take care of this one. Uh, he is growing. Um, he eats really well. I feed the tank uh, New Life Spectrum wafers and New Life Spectrum um, finicky formula. Um, San Francisco Bay brand frozen cubes. And also liquid aminos, uh, three different types. So I'm not too concerned, but I'm just taking notice of this um, reddish algae with pockets of air bubbles in it, keeping my eye on it. Um, again, this spot eventually won't get as much light when these gonopores start to um, expand their, their polyps out. Uh, let's see. Yes, there is another close-up shot. Um, this is the rock that has all of the Florida Recordias on it. Um, less red algae, still air bubbles in it. So again, I'll just keep an eye on it. It's kind of a low level concern right now. Overall, there are no major concerns with the reef setup. Couple still shots. from the side of the glass panel. And since the cabbage leather crawl has closed up a little bit, it gives the opportunity for some of the zoas. And in this red, slightly orange bunch, there's the green one. And so, yes, I used to have these green zoas. Um, so they're still in the tank. And um, periodically, Maybe I'll get in there and frag some and put them in other areas of the tank, maybe on the side of the rock structure. Front of the tank, shot of the uh, leather coral single era. Um, again, it was the other one, the toll stool behind it that was closed up, but now it's kind of shifted over maybe the mood, uh, the attitude of the coral has shifted over to the single era. And so hopefully it will do this for a couple more days and then eventually open up. The other day I showed a picture of the Cardinal. And so I was telling some coworkers and they mentioned that sometimes seeing the Cardinal is a sign that someone is checking up on you. If you agree, leave a comment or like down below. Close-up shot, checking in to make sure that the algae is still spinning. It did periodically stop and then I'll just put the reactor on a timer. It drains about a gallon of water back into the sump and then it'll restart 
and then the chater morpher will start spinning again. So you can kind of see it slowly uh, rotating. Um, nice thing is this reactor has two lights on the outside. And so one of the lights is also on the same system as my heaters and it gives me a sense of when the reserve heaters come on, those lights kick on. Uh, I don't run both of them simultaneously. Another side shot. Here's the Singulera trying to open back up a little bit earlier today. Um, also, the water clarity is probably better, so it could be that adjusting to the light. There have been no changes to the Kessel lighting that's been very consistent for the past probably year, maybe two years, two and a half years. Front of the tank, uh, head on shot, uh, the Singulera a little bit more close up and nice shot of the the orange zoas i think those are utter chaos and then the greens bird's nest um, above that don't focus on the fish too much but that was uh, the flame back dwarf angel that swam by and thanks for watching. Welcome new subscribers. Until next time.